Now, remember, there are very many complex technologies that make up the Vikram lander. Uh, there is a 15 minutes of terror that the scientists will have to navigate before that landing actually happens. But there are also some basic physics and basic technologies that go into the landing mechanism of the Vikram lander. And I'm joined here by a person who APJ Abdul Kalam had called the drone man of India. So very happy and privileged to have Milind Raj with us. He's a very well-known, well-regarded scientist and uh, researcher in the field of drones, robotics, and things like that. So he's here in his element. As you can see, he's got a lovely little model of the Vikram lander also in his hand. Mil Milind, what do you want to share with us about the landing mechanism? Right, so today is the most interesting day in the history of our country, of course, because uh, today we're going to create uh, an example that, uh, you know, the world will uh, going to witness our technological success. Yeah. So, uh, this here, I have the Vikram lander. Mm. So now most of the people are very curious to understand that what exactly Vikram lander is going to do at 6 o'clock, maybe or somewhere near about that time. So now this is a look-alike of a Vikram lander, a very close model to what an actual lander it looks mm, like. Mm. So now I'm going to tell you like uh, what are the improvements compared to Chandrayaan 2 yeah. and the Chandrayaan 3 lander and uh, what exactly this machine is going to do. It's full of complicated technological engineering. So basically this is the final stage that we are now heading towards. And Vikram lander is powered by solar cells. Mm. So there are solar cells which is giving it power. So today, once this is going to make a vertical soft land, now it is very important to understand what is a vertical Right now, at this very second, this lander is in the orbiting in a horizontal form. Right, right. Like With this. forward motion. Yes, yeah. forward motion. So it's going something like this, in a horizontal line. Hmm, hmm. The toughest thing is to bring it in a vertical axis yeah. like this. So it has a turn completely right. 90 degrees. Right. So right now all four engines, so mm. if you Google search any images of the lander, it looks somehow like this. So there are four engines beneath it. Now right now the all four engines are on. Mm. So once we are going to bring it from horizontal to vertical, uh, this axis, then only two engines will be put to action and okay. the rest two will be shut down. These four engines are going to assure that there is a maximum balance achieved once it's going to vertical land. Right, right. Because right. it is the most... So it doesn't topple. Right. And in case if it topples, then mm. the mission might face another challenge. Mm. But mm. I'm sure it's not going to happen. So these four engines are going to ensure that it lands vertically down on a soft land. Right. Soft land is when it touches the moon surface softly, perhaps at a speed which is lesser than 10 kilometers per hour or something. So just imagine from a speed of 6,000 kilometers per hour mm. to all the way to 10 kilometers per hour, so yeah. nearly nothing. Yeah. And that too in a place where there's no atmosphere, so you can't even have big those... Big deceleration. It yeah. is, it is. De big de-boosting, mm. deacceleration. Mm. So, and that too you cannot have propellers like in helicopter because right. there's no atmosphere. Correct. You cannot have a parachute either. So... Now this, the rocket engines are going to ensure that it lands soft land and vertically. And once it lands, then what's the next step? Once it touches the moon surface. Oh, the little baby comes up. Yes. <laughs> so now you can see the ramp will unveil itself. Yeah, yeah. And once the ramp will come out, our super favorite Pragyan rover is going to Rolls come out. out. Six yes. wheels. Six wheel yeah. robot. Three each side, and this rover, which we call as Pragyan, yeah. is going to do all the exploration, is going to find the elements, minerals, and also the much awaited, like we're going to have some traces of frozen water mm. on the moon surface. He's the guy who's going to be sending we, yeah, back the pictures. Of course, right? he's the yeah. guy, he's a friend. Huh? <laughs> so, now another question what will happen to the lander once the rover is out? Mm. Is it of any use, or is it just like, you know, something, another important thing? Right. So, the answer to this is that. Pragyan, the rover, the robot, or we can say, is a device that will collect the data. It will send it to the lander, and now lander will send it to Beams the... Beams that data back yes, to Yes, to okay. ISRO. Right, right. So lander, Pragyan, mm. I mean the rover, the lander, and ISRO ground station control, satellites, the things we're going to receive, and all those antennas, huge dish size antennas. Yeah, yeah. All three will be synchronized and communicated with each other. So... So this is the thing which we are going to experience and witness today at 6.04. There's another condition. What if we didn't land successfully mm, today? Mm. So suppose, uh, first Not of all, good. yeah, but uh, ISRO claims that uh, we have the best of the fail-safe technology. In right, it. right. So even during the worst case scenario, we will we'll make a landing mm, and mm. we're going to make a soft landing because there are certain major improvements. First of all, if you closely look at the lander, the Vikram, 
you see there are four legs here yes these are known as landing gears right lg mm. landing gears mm. this time we have better landing gears okay also we have better engine mm. the rocket engines are much of a higher capacity and these are lessons learned from the last time okay too. Mm. correct so we are very sure that we are not going to fail this time we will land and the challenge is there are a lot of cameras installed in the uh, this thing the rover mm. so there are cameras beneath the rover which are going to take the pictures and uh, to the most intended when, when, when does the rover come out after landing how how long after the landing will uh, the rover be see deployed? now it depends once the lander comes touches down and then we are going to decide that is it now okay to start with the rover mission or we need to do some more exploration so it's kind of thing which is in our control okay so the scientists will decide right okay hmm. so now what next is that uh, one more important thing both the rover the robot mm -hmm. or the pragyan and the vikram lander are powered by solar energy right right so if there is no sun the system will come to a halt right so, so it has to be sun, charged yes. or it has to work so, with the sun yeah yes yeah. so we have a time of 14 days mm. because one lunar day on right. the moon is for equal to 14 uh, days on our earth so we have plenty amount of time and uh, we are pretty sure and the weight of the rover yeah mm. one more thing i would like to mention the rover is somewhere 26 kg in weight okay, okay. the lander is somewhere around 1740 kg in right, weight right the propulsion module which has already left now yes. has been detached that weighs around somewhere 2400 kg mm, mm. but at this stage we have a 26 kg rover and a 1700 kg amazing, lander amazing so this is it and uh, this is all the beautiful story of the very complicated technological engineering which yeah. india is going to be you you've also brought a drone yes. here uh, milind that we wanted to know what you're going right. to demonstrate with that since so you are the drone man of india <laughs> right i would be amiss not to right so i got a drone here to explain you okay i'll how... i'll hold that for you if you want yes so now uh, let me come back here yeah i was just mentioning about the four engines, engines with yeah. the lander yeah. have these four engines ensure there's a vertical land Mm. these four engines are also going to ensure that from horizontal is going to come to a vertical stage correct correct right so now how these four engines are going to ensure that the axis is maintained to the best possible stability so that it doesn't topple right right now let's assume these are rocket engines and in a drone they are also engines yeah. but they kind of propellers, electric motor yeah. engines yeah, yeah. they are propellers which is going to create the propulsion right. propulsion means something to push yes, when you push yes. so now i'm going to give you a demonstration yeah. you just hold it like that, this like yeah hmm. So now in a drone. So first I'll just explain you. I just want you to do yeah. a close up. Yeah. So in a drone. Yeah. Like like the four engines. Like the, the four, four engines. engines. Yeah. Yes. So we Same have principle. four engines yeah. here. These are electric motors. Yeah. And uh, for a demonstration purpose, I'm putting this. Yes. Thing. Absolutely. So now you see how beautifully a drone maintains its vertical mm. balance. So I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to okay. bring it to a certain height. Yeah. Right. Now if you see I hope my audio audio is clear yeah Now you see how stable this yeah, machine yeah, is yeah. there are four engines now what if i try to push it and how the system is going to again create an algorithm which will balance it right like, like you see doesn't let you even if i yeah. push it you see maintains it yeah it maintains it it creates a different kind of thrust like if i pull it from this side the motor on this side on the left side of us mm. is going to spin faster so that it creates more thrust right, right. similar thing in the rocket engine so this is how we are achieving our vertical balance you see this is exactly what has to be done so it's a it's a the closest and easiest example which i yeah. can yeah. present here yeah. so this is a very small engineering compared to what lander no, no but that's a great right? example because it demonstrates <laughs> the, the the basic purpose, physics yeah. of what they're looking at except that the circumstances are vastly different obviously the stakes are much higher <laughs> of course 